Yeah, in the first place, there was no such party. There was no coalition. There was talk. Mostly the talk was done by Mohidin. That there is this Perikatan National. It's never been registered. It's got no uh, officers, no organization of anything. But only something that is uh, in the minds of some people. But Mohidin uh, gave the impression that there is this uh, coalition. That was not. And he says that he would join the coalition. Uh, I told him that if you join the coalition, you would be working with the kleptocrats uh, from AMNO. Uh, I asked him, are you prepared to do that? Because I told him, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to work with AMNO. If AMNO members leave AMNO and uh, join other parties, okay, we will work with them. But if it comes as an AMNO on block, no, I, I will not accept that. But uh, Muhyiddin says he will. He's prepared to work with Najib. Oh, so I say, if you are prepared to work, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's how his name came up and he became the leader uh, who eventually became the Prime Minister. Initially, the planning by the, the plotters, I would say they are plotting how to bring down Pakatan Harapan and substitute it with a government that is made up of the, the kleptocrats, the AMNO group. Uh, to do that, they have to get more Malay support. And Malay support can only come from Bersatu because Bersatu is a Malay party. So they have to persuade Bersatu to change course, to join them instead of being with Pakatan Harapan. And the, the way they do it is by saying that Pakatan Harapan is controlled by DAP. And that DAP will, will destroy the Malays. You know, they, I mean, for many Malays, they don't, they don't examine the real reality of things. And they, they believe that. They became frightened. They believe that. So some of these Bersatu members decided that they should leave Pakatan Harapan because there is DAP there. We have to bring down DAP. Uh, I didn't agree with them. I, I told them, look, let's wait first. Don't, don't make any decision now. But they rejected me. Uh, they decided, no, we have to come out now. Uh, and when they come out, of course, Pakatan Harapan collapsed. So after that, Muhyiddin was accepted by AMNO and PAS uh, to make up the numbers to form the government. So that's how Muhyiddin uh, became the Prime Minister. I, I would never work with, uh, with uh, this uh, grouping because of the presence of uh, Najib and AMNO. Do you think, I mean, as it is a, such a loose co co coalition, do you think Brikatan will keep Tan Sri as the Prime Minister for G15? But uh, it all depends on what happens to Najib in his uh, court case. If he is found not guilty and is allowed to contest and all that, I think he wants to become the Prime Minister again. But then if he loses in the court, then of course he will be disqualified. But generally speaking, I'm no members of Perikatan National feel that AMNO should lead. They, they feel that they have the support. In fact, they even told Bersatu that although we are a coalition, but in the next election, we want to contest against you. And see, so there is no coalition because uh, AMNO believes that in the next election, they would uh, obtain the big, they would become the biggest party in the coalition and they want to hold the reins of government.